Eric Erlandson, longtime lead guitarist and founding member of the rock band Hole, released his book, which he titled Letters to Kurt, in 2012. And this book that Erlandson put together is basically a collection of poetry and essays and letters that he personally wrote to Kurt. All these letters were written long after Kurt had died. It was just stuff that Erlandson had wanted to say to Kurt. Erlinson, co-founder of the band Hole, of course, along with Courtney Love, Kurt Cobain's wife. And this is how Erlinson met Cobain, through Courtney Love. And going by everything Erlinson said, he considered Kurt to be a friend of his, and in his own words, he misses Kurt dearly. Erlinson also stated that he was with Kurt right up until the time just before he went missing. And here he elaborates on Cobain in those final days and talks about some of the ideas that Kurt was coming up with musically. You know, so it wasn't he was wasn't actually recording a solo album. That was like, you know, I never said that. It's just he uh, he was working out ideas, and I was lucky to be around him right before he went missing. And he and you know, I actually recorded something with him, working on one of his songs that was called Do Re and Me or Do Re Mi as it appeared on the Nirvana box set. Wow. And, um, and it showed that he was going in a different direction. And So interesting stuff there, Erlinson talking about Kurt's little final Wii recordings he was doing for himself on cassette recorders, just putting down ideas. And he was stating there how he was even working with Kurt on that song Do Re Mi. We've all heard that one. That one's out there. But apparently there were more ideas and little gems there that Kurt was coming up with, coming up with a whole ton of musical ideas. Eric Erlinson even stating there that he's one of the only people on the planet to have heard that cassette that Kurt made. But interesting how he said it was just like a total different direction, a total new direction. And we know Kurt had talked about going in a different direction. He had certainly stated that many times. Even though he stated there that Kurt wasn't recording a solo album at the time, but some of that stuff, of course, could have been meant for a future solo album, or it could have been going on to a future Nirvana record, too. I mean, we just never know that, but... And as Erlinson mentioned there, that was right up before Kurt went missing, so that was like, you know, the final stuff that he would have ever recorded, right? The final stuff that he was ever playing. So, pretty interesting stuff. We're missing, we're still missing him greatly, you know, well, I and, think, and you could tell by the state of music right now. Yeah, no, and I, I think a lot of fans would, would love to hear those cassettes. Before I let you go, Eric, is it possible that those cassettes will be released? Will fans be able to hear them? Uh, I hope that someday somebody puts them together. I, unfortunately, I think I'm, I'm probably one of the few people on the planet that's heard them. And, uh, wow. Uh, and I think that, um, you know, I, I'm, I don't own them and I don't control them, but there is uh, there, there are little gems that you know I think people would appreciate if they could hear them. But thanks, guys, for tuning into the video. This one was a bit of a what could have been scenario, but appreciate you guys tuning in and leaving your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. As always, leave us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll catch you next time, guys.